Well, springtime means prime time for contractor come-ons, and already it appears they are coming on strong. I've been getting the bottom line on driveway paving problems for years now, and while the stories might sound similar, one difference this year is that the pitches are starting early. A colony woman tells me how her elderly father almost fell for one just yesterday. We've seen it again. The gentleman drove by, stopped, and says, geez, you look like you need a new driveway. And again. This guy... Literally, he took the money and ran. Uh, yes, absolutely. $15,800. And now again. When I got home, I saw it was not blacktop, and it was, um, I told him he wasn't going to be paid. This time, it's Karen Osahowski in Colony e, who says she arrived home Tuesday afternoon to find a driveway paver had approached her 75 year old father after stopping by unannounced. What did he say when he showed up? He said that he was doing a jo job in the neighborhood and he had extra um, blacktop to put down. Karen says the initial offer to her father was to lay that blacktop for free. Then she says it was up to $3, then $300, then back down to $200. My father said he had to go to the bank to get the money and um, he came back outside and it was, he was already laying it down. That's when Karen came home and found this, more crushed rock than blacktop really, and she refused to pay. When she threatened to call the cops, she says the paver, U.S. Asphalt, took off. If a paver, a contractor comes walking up to your door, red flag? Definitely. You know, any, any reputable paving company doesn't need to do that. That's what Dan Booth, owner of DNR Paving, told me almost three years ago when initially warning homeowners about what to watch for. Anybody with a, with a pickup truck can go buy some vinyl letters and put their name on the side of it. His company has an A-plus Better Business Bureau rating and some great advice on how to avoid being taken. Do you ever ask for a deposit, any money up front? No, never. And it, that's just to give the customer more of a feeling of ease that they're dealing with somebody that isn't going to rip them off. Really, if you, if you can't find information about your contractor online, again, it's a sign that there's something wrong. Did you look it up afterwards? Did you try to find anything? I looked it up on the Internet. I saw nothing from New York State. Karen tells me, though, she'd seen our warnings in the past and says the bottom line is that's what helped in tipping her off. I've seen it like almost every year, actually, for a couple years that people come and, you know, they're ripping off senior citizens. It's very important. I mean, if I didn't do, if I didn't come home, my father would have lost $200. So this one has a good ending, at least. They may still have their money, but they do also have a mess on their driveway still. Karen tells me, though, that a friend of theirs who owns a paving company already has agreed to repave it for free in the spring. If something's affecting your bottom line that might affect others as well, then please send me an email about it. The address is the bottom line at cbs6albany.com.